Wakurugenzi, mnamo 2011, 2012 pale, kuna msichana mdogo, jina ni Malala Yusuf Zai. Malala bana anaishi mahali panaitwa Pakistan. Pakistan at that particular time ilikuwa under the Taliban rule. Wacha ni waambie, mnasemaga wanaume hapa ni Taliban. Hamjui <laughs> Taliban? Taliban walikuwa wanatambariza watu wewe mchezo kando. Ilikuwa ni noma, wako na masheria zingine hatari hatari nini? Ah, ilikuwa ni fire. So young Malala Yusuf Zai alikuwa amekwazwa sana na kitu moja Taliban so alikuwa ameanza kusema ati girl child our need education like education for what kazi si ni kukata tu kuni na kucheza na kuni so hiyo kitu ikamkwaza ikamkwaza akashindwa no why how mimi kama msichana mdogo bana i have a right to education so akafanya nini akaanza kuandika matukio kila kitu Taliban inawapitisha anaandika kwa dari wadao one time he dari in a leak the whole world gets to know and understand what is happening in pakistan msichana anakuwa overnight celebrity of course the taliban awaski fiti wanashindwa ni nani huyo anachoma huyo msichana mdogo huyo ni mtu anafaa akule risasi faster so one time akitolewa shule mazee yako ndani ya van na kimbizo nyumbani wakapigwa ambush na Taliban they sprayed bullets inside the van malala akapigwa risasi kichwa na shingo lakini allah ni nani alibaki akapenya mtu yangu ehe dunia ikajua huyu msichana anataka kukandamizwa sababu amesimamia rights zake kama msichana kupata a proper education wakakwama na yeye maze na waka protect huyu msichana at all costs by 2012 malala yusafzai was the most famous school girl on the planet actually i think uh, some few years later two years later if i'm not wrong in 2014 She went on to become the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner. The youngest. Kama hiyo sio heroine, huyo ni nani? Tupigeni huyu mtu makofi wana tukianza kipindi. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> season 1 episode 4 high on heroines na ukiniona to you just now it's another one by the ladies okay so wadao tarehe ni sikoshua but mwaka ni 1940 hiyo nikoshua 1940 pale maeneo za abadea abadea kuna msichana amezaliwa pale born to two kikui parents msichana amezaliwa eh, wakati wa ukoloni ukoloni hivi hivi bado kuja development haijaingia sana unajua ni pre independence pale but uh, tuko katika hiyo harakati ya kujenga jenga nini nini so by the time alikuwa nazaliwa bado a lot of this natural forests zilikuwa zilikuwa ziko area in fact alianza tu kupata you know a, a soft spot for conservation for just nature at a very young age so la, anakumbuka kitu mtu mwata story za firewood anaambiwa niaje okota firewood kwa forest lakini pale kwa mugumu tree hiyo wachana nayo sio kote kuni hapo uh, it's 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 sacred ata juliza what is it about this tree man iko na uzito hivyo so akakuwa mazea ni amevutiwa sana na mambo ya ya nature na environment na what not na ilikuwa na advantage sababu mazee forest zilikuwa ziko mm-hmm. so vitu kama maji ma river nini ziko sawa yani maisha hiyo time could have been better juu wa zungu walikuwa shanza kufanya fanya mambo lakini haikuwa mbaya kama vile iko saa hii so hizi ni vitu walikuwa shanza kuelewa at a very young age man so hata akienda shule nini nini at the back of her mind anajiambia hey there's just something beautiful about our country i hope mazee tutaendelea kuiweka hivi na hivi na hivi 20 years later 
in 1960 actually right before the 1960s tuseme hapo ma 1957 58 59 apo, something happens in the US kuna senator yuko pale senator barobaro kijana mdogo anatesa sana anaitwa nani kennedy kennedy would go on to become uh, a US president I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. unfortunately anapigwa mbembe 1963 na jamaa anaitwa Oswald ako kwa library mahali pale juu akamtandika risasi mbaya eh aka, aka aga dunia but before akuwe president alikuwa senator akiwa senator akapata bana idea safi sana idea ya kujenga country alipiga hesabu zake akaona America ndio tuijenge ifike mahali mazee tunataka ifike whether we like it or not we need external help in terms of manpower Yeye ni ngombe tuko nayo hapa kwa set ama nimesikia vitu zangu. Mnasikia ngombe iki nini mali huko? Hey, na mnasema kawaskari si mbali huko ni ushago. Anyway, eh, Kennedy, Jeff Kennedy akiwa pale bana anazungumza na watu wawili watatu nini bradhake ni Robert Kennedy yako pale anaambiwa wewe ni aje. Hii program tunaweza ita the airlift program twende all over the world tukitafuta watu ambao wako sharp hapa wakuje America tu train alafu tu absorb kwenye workforce pale easy brains ndio zitatujengea hii country of course brother can ona yes i love it i love it ini kitu safi sana let's let's do it there's a very sharp kenyan at the time mzee mzima tom boya tom boya na jf kennedy hapa kwa hapa hapa kwa hapa yani ni mabest wanapigia nanga simu yani ni maarif wanatambuana deadly so of course wakati walikuwa wanatafuta wase wa kuita tomboy alikuwa hapo maze in fact i think alikuwa kwa hizo ma arrangement arrangement hapa juu walijua tomboy ni msem sharp so anajua watu wengine wa sharp kwao anaweza waleta maze tufanyie kitu so maze ikakuwa sawa tomboy akaka mkenya akaambia wase ni aje usa maze land of the brave huko ndio mali dreams zinamekiwa endeni mkule vitabu huko maze eh hey, mujijenge maisha maze huko education iko sawa mambo shwari nani anapata hii ujumbe akiwa Kenya msichana mdogo wa chini ya miaka 20 you guess right ni msichana anaitwa Jane Wangare Muta who is the subject of our conversation today Jane Wangare Muta anapata hiyo ripoti anaona ni kweli America inaniita Wacha nikimbie kule nifanye fanye my education education lakini mimi sitaka huko niwajenge country yao mm -mm. I'll come back I'll come back and build my own nation Sharp girl Sichana hatari By the camera ya close up ni gani wadau ni hii oh nimejipata na angalia ingine sana wacha nielekeze macho hapa So Jen Muta eh, 1960 anapanda ndege yake baridi anaingia mpaka US of A na hapa ndio mtihani wangu wa kwanza yes sti au oh, sawa hapa ndio mtihani yangu ya kwanza kwenu inakuja between 1960 wadao na 1969 1969 huyu mrembo alikuwa tu in and out of schools and colleges and universities Nataka muniandikie hapa kwa comments ni shule ngapi alienda na zilikuwa zinaitwa vipi na zilikuwa wapi ndio wapatia hint America of course sababu the airlift program ilikuwa ni ya states lakini pia Europe aliingia nataka muniambie that decade between 1960 to 1969 ni shule ngapi alienda are we together very nice So as nyinyi mnanifanyia hiyo assignment nataka niwarudishe nyuma kidogo toka 1969 rudi hapa 1967 1967 asha maliza ile degree alikuwa ameenda kufanya America ya 4 years 1960 I think to 63 ama 64 ameenda ameingia ka degree kingine ka masters amefanya ka masters ka 2 years asha maliza around 1966 1967 akakutana na barubaro kijana mazea ko pale anajiita Mr. Mavai Mr. Davey akao na maze. Could this fine chick man melanin pop him. Yo, let me holla at you real quick. <laughs> Wangare Mavai box. Oh, your time ni Jane Wangare Muta. Akaingizwa box na Mr. Mavai pale. Jina ikabadilika officially to Jane Wangare Mavai. Jane not so much. Wangare Mavai it was. All right. 
So wakaendelea vizuri e, kumbuka hii ni ile decade ya decade ya mashule. So hata vile wamekutana hapa 1967 bado Wangare anaendelea kufanya mambo zake huko za my environment ni nini ni nini ni, ni. but in 1969 mrembo akaamua it's time to go back home. Let's go home. So 1969 akaingia wapi? Nairobi Kenya. Pale Nairobi Kenya akaingia University of Nairobi for her first job. Alikuwa I think ni professor pale alikuwa lecturer eh? I think so. So from around 70 71 baka 70 something huko 6 if I'm not wrong. So wakati Wangare Mathai anapiga mambo yake hapa ya lecturing na nini na nini anafundisha wanafunzi aka discover kuna discrepancy. Kuna vitu ambavyo vinafanyika ambavyo haviko sawa. Kuna mambo ambayo si legit lazima tuzi address. Aligundua nini huyu mrembo? Anagundua even though mimi na my male counterparts sisi ni lecturers tunafanya the same hours working in the same environment same working conditions my male counterparts are being paid more than my female friends are making and myself included why 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 akasema hata nyamaza sitasimama maovu ya kitawala akakuta administration akauliza wait a minute wait a minute hold up so mtaka kuniambia Mr. Naniz wakiingia pale daro wanalipo x amount sisi the Miss Naniz tukiingia daro tunalipwa x minus y amount why mbona iko hivyo why we don't get it how wanaume wakiingia kufundisha wanatumia sauti zao sisi tukiingia kufundisha tunaletaga recording ya DJ Afro no si ni sauti zetu tunatumia Why are we earning less? Asante sana. Hapo ndio activism ya Wangare Mathai ilianzia. Akapiga kelele sana. Na I think she succeeded. Siko sure? Mnaweza niambia. But I suspect ali succeed. Equal pay for everyone. Sababu kila mtu analeta kitu kwa meza. Hakuna hiyo mambo ya tiwe sababu wewe unapiganga matrao, una no 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 no. No no no. So hiki tu activism na kuanga it's not for the faint hearted. Hii kitu lazima ukwe wewe ni mtu uko na ugumu fulani. Wewe ni mtu umejiamini kuruka. But kumbuka these are very conservative times. Hizi wakati tunaishi ni ma 1970s mahali ambapo wanawake we don't want to hear you. We just want to see you around. Tuwaone tu tusiwasikie. Mm. Na pia tukichoka kuwaona tunawasukuma jikoni muende mupike nini hatutaki mambo yenu unless tunawataka karibu na sisi ya so mwanamke anajitokeza kupiga kelele ati oh ah he ah, ah unakuja sana ah, alifikiria hizi vita zitatoka nje hmm makosa ni yake vita ilitoka from within the husband akajiita mkutano akajiuliza Nitawezana na huyu gaidi kweli. Hmm. Haiwezi. Huyu atanipiga kwa nyumba siku moja huyu. Ai. Mtu anasimamiana huko na watu kwa university ni mtu nita ah, no 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 this one must go. Aende sana. So ikatokea story hapo ati Wangare Mathai amekuwa na relations na another member of parliament. By the way, I forgot to tell you. Huyu mjamaa bwana Mathai alikuja akachaguliwa member of parliament for Langata. Story katokelezea kumbe wa Wangare Mathai waga anachotangwa na mjamaa fulani pia wa parliament wako na affairs. Ikabidi sasa hii divorce lazima ipangwe. So 1977 Mathai na mrembo wake e, Wangare wakapiga separation. By 1979 divorce ilikuwa inatandikwa proper. Ule judge ile evidence hafifu hafifu alikuwa amepatiwa na bwana Mathai MP ya kwamba Wangare ako na affair na another politician imagine akaikubali na open arms like ni vitu unaona hazina mwelekeo lakini huu judge ako box mbaya ya yeah, ya yeah, huyu anakaa ni mtu anaweza lamba MP you see kidogo kidogo divorce ikakuwa granted Wangare Mathai is not one to mince her words akasema mahali kwa press ya kwamba vitu ni mbili either Huyu judge hajui kazi ni mtu bure hakuna kitu hapa hii ni ndengo imejaa hapa ama ni corrupt 
amelambishwa one of those two na tusibishane oh judge kusikia wangare madhai amesema mimi sijui kazi na mimi ni mwizi umenita corrupt utafraya akakuwa held in contempt of court na koti ikampata na hatia na akarushwa langata women prison for how long Six months kambiwa enda cool hills huko mtu yangu uko na kerere taka tukupatie maragwe huko na mchele ya ijaiva ndio utambue hii Nairobi iko na wenyewe ingia huko ndani fortunately for eh, wangare mavai lawyers alikuwa anacheza nao pia sim 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 lawyers hivi hivi ukikutana na lawyer anakupiga macho design hii anakuambia kama uko na shida umuite <laughs> umuite umuite kona Okay. Ye joke ni meikarabati kutoka last month. Sikujua mta i receive cold leave. Anyway, Paul Muite alikuwa lawyer wake. Hata nikipigapiga darubini zangu kwa documentary hapo naona kulikuwa na arifu wake hapo karibu anaitwa Orengo James. Ukiwa na Paul Muite na Orengo. Orengo alete kizungu Paul alete macho. Mtashinda hiyo kesi kweli? Aje. Aje. Of course, akukala ngata miezi sita. After three days alikuwa ashaachiliwa. Three days hata kunguni za langata azija kuuma bado out enda fanya mambo yako but of course of course kazi ya university imeisha unajua ukishaingia jela mazele watu wana move on mbaya sasa ni wewe ujipange ujipange so she did a lot of things hapa alikuwa anajiunga na organization hapa na pale i will not bore you with hizo hizo nyinyi endeni mfanye nini mkule research muone ni organizations gani aliingia nataka tu niwapeleke pale nyuma pale kwenye conservation mali akiwa msichana mdogo alikuwa amesema hey mazee naweza taka ku, kufanya mawantu mawantu hapa mazee hii environment nini yetu ina kafit environment yetu ina kapoa naweza penda tu mazee tu protect kitu but remember it time yote imekuwa nje for a whole decade vitu zina happen tu miti zinakatwa in fact ata before she went to the states for further studies wazungu during the colonial times in the 50s walianza maze kukata hizo mafore unajua wazungu walikama hapa wakapata mamiti fulani indigenous wazielewi wanashindwa hii what is this tame the forests kata miti choma misitu dead mlikuwa mnamkatua asubuhi mnaona moshi huko maze mnajua hiyo ni msitu msitu inakuwa cleared ndio mlami aende atengeneze castle yake pale e, asemage yeye anaishi ngitu kwa bush peke yake Uh, like the rich kid they are kumbe mazee ajui anaribu misitu bana inaenda kutu affect as a continent so after hii mambo imeisha Nairobi amepelekwa mpaka kotini ameingizwa ndani nini akarudi mashinani aka discover ile deforestation deforestation inaendelea vibaya tena sana imefika mahali imeanza sasa ku affect watu rivers zinaanza kukauka maji haipatikani ni msichana aligroia badea ranges mazee unajua uko slush green kila kitu mazee maji riveni yani sasa hii anasikia wamama wana struggle kupata maji ya kunywa wacha hata ya kuosha vitu ah no akasema hapana hapana so towards the late 70s hapo 1977 eh akaform green belt movement Ah in fact actually nimechanganya hizi story 1977 ilikuwa before afungwe so meaning alikuwa shaanza ku notice hizi vitu za deforestation zinafanya zinatufanya mbaya before ataende jela so alikuwa share uh, register nini green belt movement ni organization tu imeshughulika na mambo ya conservation na kila kitu lazima tuhakikishe inaenda na mutaratara vile inafaa kuna kukatakata miti ovyo ovyo development za kiujinga ujinga mnakata miti huko mpande vitu za concrete hiyo ni nonsense Green Belt ilikuwa hapa kuhakikisha maze tuna restore misitu zetu. Eh bana, to protect the country. So Green Belt imeanza 77 by 79 ameshindwa ile kesi ya kotini, amesha divorce. Haina mambo. Piga rewind selector toka 79 lakini usifike 77, kuja hapa katikati 78. Nini na happen? Founding father, mzee Jomo Kenyatta, anatuacha. Serikali inachukuliwa na number 2 in command mzee mzima kutoka kabarnet nani kama daniel torotich arap moy anachukua serikali pale na anaendeleza kazi ya nani ya mzee so wacha niwaambie vitu watu wengi hawapendagi kusema land immediately after mkoloni arudishe shamba aende kwao ilikuwa bana watu warudishiwe mashamba zao sababu before mkoloni akuje walikuwa wanaishi hapo mkoloni akakuja akawachuja akawapeleka mali walienda so 
the right thing to do would have been hey gave nyinyi ni mlikuwa mnaishi hapa eh ah walami wameenda rudini he regime ya kwanza ni kina nani walikuwa wanajigawia mashamba wewe in case nikipotea wadau acheni tu niende kama nimewaambia ukweli mashamba watu walijipea wewe ilikuwa ukifanya kitu mzuri unibambe na mimi ndio baba wa taifa na kuuliza unataka wapi unataka wapi na kukatia kipande and fry wakati baba wa taifa aliondokea mzee mzima mangidi ah si mangidi eh, mandani akaingia nini ilikuwa ni ile ile mabiste wake wa karibu nini wakifanya mambo fiti fiti anawauliza unataka wapi unaenda unakatiwa kipande ni nini, nini so before long walianza kukula public land ambayo ilikuwa imesetiwa aside kama forest areas ni nini, nini. E, wangari madhai anaona tu from a distance one time after amesumbuana hapo na kungangana na na kupanda panda miti for like a whole decade from when moyo aliingia mpaka around 1989 hiyo ilikuwa from 78 to 89 ni 11 years so for 11 years huyu mama amekuwa kijitolea maze kuhakikisha miti tunapanda mambo iko sawa kila kitu ni mufti anapata ripoti kutoka kwa kijana mdogo sana anaambiwa mada hey sijui kama umesikia wacha nikuambie ile kitu serikali inataka kufanya hapo uhuru park mtafrai hapo uhuru park baba anataka ah, na baba si huyu sasa baba wa ya wakati mzee moi anataka kujenga bonge la skyscraper hapa mtatii utakuwa ukisimama pale juu kwa mabati unaona kila kitu haya ndio hiyo libya ai gaddafi wala ni aje yani unaona afrika mzima the tallest in africa 62 story building inataka kujengwa pale hapo kando tunataka tutengeneze statue ya mzee mzima eh dani statue big kuliko ile kenyata amejengewa pale kcc eh toka tupige kama twice the size KCC already building ni ka 28 floors. Hapa tunataka tulete 62. Mm. Ile statue Kenyatta iko hapo. Sisi tunataka tujenge double. Yeah. Sasa sijui utatusaidia aje hapo madam sababu tusipofanya kitu uhuru park inaenda. Now the concept of just some green area in the middle of the city was just beautiful. Huu ni mtu anataka tu kukuja kuondoa hii kitu akiwai. Why? For what reason? No. Wangare madhaya akasema sitakubali. Wadau nimesahau kuambia by this time alipiga hesabu akaona jina Wangare Madhai draws some type of way of the tongue in a sound to poor Wangare Madhai. So even though bwana Madhai amenitoka na no, mimi sitoi sibadilishi jina kwani iko nini? <laughs> oh madia ananiambia <laughs> Ika mambo eh, ukisikia hiyo jina the first thing ni mti alafu ika mambo <laughs> but Madhai Wangare Madhai alikuwa nasikia tu ina in a roll of the tongue some you know a nice way so akasema sita change jina ya huyu mtu hata kama alinifanya mbaya kila nitafanya nitaongeza a so badala iko wangare madhai itakuwa wangare madhai double a yes that's a hiyo ni jina tofauti na tusisumbuane siwe ni madhai mimi ni madhai nipeleke mali utanipeleka yes so madhai akasema no hiyo haiwezi hiyo haiwezi hatuwezi kubali mtu a let selfish interests kwa public land. E park inatumika na wananchi wa hii capital city ya Nairobi. Unataka kukata miti hapa utuwekee kabro na na, na na concrete structures for why? Mbona mnatumia akili kama kofia ati ikifika usiku unatoa unaweka hapo juu ya meza? No 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 no. Hatuwezi kubali. So akaenda akapeleka petition kotini. Akaambia, "Oya Nasikia bana ruling party wanataka kujenga building hapo Uhuru Park na hiyo kitu ajan fraisha. Ambieni hao watu hiyo ni upumbavu na hatutaki. He. Akasahau ile ile koti ilimfanya bwana yake akashinda kesi chini ya maji. Ndio hii hii koti anataka kubishana nayo na serikali. Unafikiria hiyo kesi ilienda mahali? Ho, mulienda nayo. <laughs> 
Alirudisha huko na makaratasi zake akaambiwa toa hiyo ujinga hapa tafadhali na tutako sana sana tukisikia muna, una piga piga kelele za kibumbafu kama hizi. In fact at some point parliament proceedings zilisimama. Tuache ku discuss ukame iko pale northeastern to discuss huyu mama anakuja kuharibu form ni nani huyo? First of all tangulini tulianza kusikiza wa mama divorces. When wewe ni mtu unafaa kuwa unakaa huko kwa msitu unajiuliza ni wapi nilikosea mbona sijaolewa tena ni nini why can't i keep a man ufai kuwa unakuja hapa kupiga kele, piga kelele tu no 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 no, no. mp's wakazua wakasema oh, mama bana kwenda kabisa martha anawaambia not martha eh, jane wangari martha anawaambia unaona muna reason kama watu ambao wako allergic to intelligence chief me i want to engage you from your neck up i am not interested with your anatomy from the west down hiyo ni yako hiyo ni yako i don't care mimi nataka munitumie watu wako na akili tukae to debate tuulizane is it right for someone kukuja kuweka structures kwa park ambayo ni public land inatumiwa na wananchi mimi mkini convince sawa mtaendelea na kazi yenu but me from where i'm sitting where i'm standing sio ni sense hapo ah akaambia we kwenda huko he koti imerusha nini yake nje petition yake nje akajua sasa hapa itabidi twende aje streets 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 nda gadha watu wake of course kina Orengo wako pale kina orengo sasa hiyo anachachisha vijana barubaru maloya mm, wako pale wana twende kaende sana kwani iko nini we state machinery ikakuwa deployed pale polisi wa kila aina walikuwa hapo fanya fujo uone anti stock theft nini you name it <laughs> walikuwa hapo kuhakikisha huyu mama amefundishwa adabu Wacha ni kuambie rungu zilitembea my friend. Watu walitandikwa proper. Lakini Wangare Mavai na kikosi yake they were relentless. Is that the word? Relentless. Kweli? Yes. Mm, Sti hapa professor wa kizungu wa menod. Ameti they were relentless. Yes. Hakuna atutoki hapa. So eventually Julianza ku attract mpaka international attention. Gavai kona you know at oh, home there na choma wacha naye wacha naye tatafuta building in fact kabla nianze story salimu ameniuliza swali very important kwa nini specifically uhuru park why na apa hill at the time haina kitu iko tu is empty it's bare apparently ni kwa sababu serikali ilitaka kutengeneza hapo uhuru park mahali hiyo statue ya mzee inaweza ona ile statue ya yule mzee mwingine But juu statue ya huyu mzee itakuwa kubwa kuliko statue ya yule mzee mwingine atakuwa ame assert some type of dominance kuonyesha hata kama mimi si mwanzilishi wa taifa mimi ndio kusema eh, mimi ndio baba ala kwani iko nini ha anyway ikakuwa ndio hivyo mungari akaendelea na mambo yake kama kawaida until another decade ikapita hapa tulikuwa 1989 tukipigania uhuru pak kuja 1999 wangare amechachisha hii country anapanda miti kila mahali yani amepanda karibu apande miti mpaka kwa lami yani we are planting trees man to pande miti akiwa ame chill tu siku moja mazee kuna mzungu anafanya horse riding pale karura forest anapiga kona moja hivi hapo karura anashangaa wait a minute kwa katikati ya miti earth movers zinafanya nini? Kwa katikati ya miti mawe zimemwagwa kwa nini? Simu quick fast. Hello? Ongari madai. He, umetembea Karura? Hmm. Sijui ni nani huyo alikuja na mbegu zenye ukipanda zinamea tractor. Sababu aki Naona kuna earth mover imemea hapa kwa hii forest na sijui ni nani na kuna mwingine alikuja na mbegu akapanda zikamea mawe juu kuna mawe imemwaga hapa kwa forest Unaweza kuwa uko na hii information Ah Wangari anashindwa Karura ndani eh eh 
Karura ndani kuna watu wanajenga. Karura nani Mungare madha ifanya research quick fast. Jaribu ku ascertain what exactly is happening. Gundua serikali imepatia mtu a eh, private developer permission and a jenga housing units hapo Karura ndani. Yeah, tutakula MC tu pole pole kwa niko nini. Kinianzia huko ndani katikati mahali uonekani kwa barabara. By the time watu wanagundua kuna housing unit huko, ai, nyumba zilishaisha watu washaingia. You go do your things. Eh? Karura akuba, I mean madhai akubali. Karura yake ianza kujengwa jengo wa building. At sasa si Karura ni pipeline. <laughs> miti 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 cloth lines. <laughs> pipeline Karura iwezi. No 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 no. no. Ah ah. Ah enda tena kotiko. Hapana. Ah, Kuna vitu zina happen huko Karura. Na najua hata nikiwekelea petition hapa bado mtanifanya mbaya. Hakuna kitu inaendelea huko. Hiyo tumekataa. Rudi nje, chukuana na majamaa, ingia Karura. Waende huko kwanza wameenda mpaka na miti. Wanataka kuongeza miti zingine. E, pata serikali isha lambisha vijana. So hapo Karura kando kuna tugeto geto tuko hapo. Vijana wamesha lambishu hapo masoso. Wameambiwa kuna watu watakuja hapa kusimamisha hizi makonstruction. E, dilini nao. Kina muangare madhai ifika Karura, pata maraya, wanawangoja na ika mambos eh mishale marungu o mapanga mawe wanaulizwa ehe mnadayaje wakalia hapana aki nyinyi ni vijana muwezi kuwa mumekubali forest yetu ifanywe development kwani a a amuoni mazea watu wanaharibu hiki kitu ah majama wakadai hapana wewe unatetea forest kama nani i forest in fact ni yetu ni yetu ancestors wetu ndio walikuwa wanaishi hapa nyinyi siju mli wewe unaishi si ulizaliwa zizi central Mm-mm. sisi ndio hapa sisi ndio tunafaa kwa tunalilia e forest na the fact that tumekubali wakuje wajenge inamaanisha tuko sawa juu ni kwetu si kwenu ni kwetu wangara anawaambia chief <laughs> tangulini forest ikakuwa kwenu forest inakuwa gani ya serikali hiyo ni public land haifai kuguzwa Haifai kuguzo sababu hii country inategemea misitu. Mnakubali aje misitu bana zikatwe watu wajenge manyumba. Ah majamaa wakadai ya 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 sisi tunakubali. E, nyinyi endeni huko kwenu mkatae. Hapa hapa sisi tumekubali. Eh kidogo wakadai basi nyinyi basi nyi kubalini wacha wajenge nyumba zao sisi tunapanda miti. Wanarudi hivi pale kwa geto anze kupanda panda miti. O oh, vijana washaanza kushape na mapanga. Tumewaambia mtoke hapa. O oh, mishale zishaanza kulokiwa sasa kwa mabo. Tumewaambia mtoke hapa. E within seconds all hell breaks loose. Mawe 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 mishale panga. Mawe mishale panga. Within minutes damu tu watu wameshikilia vichwa, wamekula mawe. Wangare amepigwa sijui ni panga ya kichwa hapa ana bleed kwa dread nini like it, it was chaotic. Lakini ule mawe alisema aki ni weni ni weni lakini ijulikane kwamba nilikufia hizi misitu sababu nyinyi ya muoni importance ya hii kitu na ni watoto wenu watakuja ku benefit na hii kitu akatoka hapo akaingia police station aka record statement na akasema najua nyinyi serikali ndio mmetuma hao vijana watupige haina mambo akaandika statement yake akamaliza badala ya kupiga ile signature ya mzungu akashika pale mahali amekatwa ile damu akaipiga pale kwa karatasi signed in blood na kufia hii forest nipelekeni mahali mtanipeleka wacha nikuambie maordinare wamebangaiza tu pale wanasikiza tu rege <laughs> wakasikia eh maze mave amefanywa mbaya jo amepigwa mapanga huko hivyo karura juu wasio wanataka kukula fore na ye adai maze wakampiga mbaya sana jo ameenda hata kuripoti kumbe Gava pia iko ndani ya hii kitu jo Gava ndio ina finance hawa se wanapigana ndio wase wajenge kwa fore. Ah oh, maordinary wako hapo eh. Kwa hivyo kitu madhea na need ni kikosi. Umadha ataumia tukiwa hapa. Hawa ni maordinary. Watu tu wamefeel uchungu ya wangare madhai. Wakaamua nayo nayo. Tunaingia vita. Wacha nikuambie. Kwanza wanafika hivi wanapiga eh, nini wakadiscover kumbe 
kuna police kai kwapo inapatia vijana instructions mkiona watu hapa mkubali muwapige nini wakajua okay kumbe gava iko ndani by the ukweli si rumors juile ni police ka makara wanaongea na ama youth wakiwa patia patia tu vitu hapo wakiwa patia my instructions oh, okay okay so mnacheza na mayutman mtajua hata si ni mayutman majamaa walienda wakajigadha wakarudi yani chini ya maji wakati wa sea wako guards ziko chini wasio me relax wacha nikwambie ule contractor alipatiwa kazi ya kutengeneza vitu huko Karura ndani alifraya vijana wakaamua sasa hivyo ndio hasa wameamua serikali inacheza na mayute sawa watajua hata sisi ni mayutman so wakaenda wakajipanga panga wakachukua mafuta mafuta ma petroli then hua, wakarudi chini ya maji wewe Sema trakta kumwagiliwa mafuta wewe. Hiyo we. construction kidogo ilikuwa imeanza. Wewe weka mafuta wewe kidogo. Sha kiberiti washa kitu. Leo tunataka tukule trakta choma nyinyi mtatambua. Mtaona fire. Majirani wako huko mazao walikuwa wamelipwa na serikali wa protect wanashangaa mbona kuna moshi kwa forest. Kidogo kidogo information inafikia wangare. Anaambiwa eh, eh 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 wale watu wako wanajenga huko ndani. Ni kama wameamua kuchachisha wamechoma mpaka msitu. Ai. Wangare anashindwa. Yaani nyinyi hata si kukata miti mjenge haijawatosha. Mmeamua kuwasha msitu moto. Anafika huko anapata <laughs> ni vijana wanamtambua ni watu wake. Wamefanya hiyo kama mambo. Namwambia sijali ni tractor tu zinaungua. Sababu hiyo place tumeichomea hizi nugu zilikuwa zishakata miti so it's a clearing. Hakuna mti hata moja itaumia. Lakini huyu mtu hako na loan ya kulipa bank sababu <laughs> lona ilipi riot <laughs> tuone ni contractor mgani atakuja tena kuleta mashini yake kwa msitu kujenga vitu yes madam wewe nakwambia tutakushika mkono utatii wewe eh yeah. yeah. wacha tuone next cause of action ai by this time international community washajua ah wangare anachachisha kenya CNN CNN Al Jazeera BBC CNN Al Jazeera BBC yani wangare ni celeb mbaya anatembea tu yani wa, bila mnaingia gaya kwa tu vibanda hivyo ndio alikuwa anaingia kwa hizo media house eh hey, France 24 eh hey, wewe the whole world wakajua mzee wangare ame, alikuwa willing kule her own life for the sake of Kenya's forests ah, chief celeb hapa tuko 99 kukichacha hivi ai hata miaka tano ziliisha kweli. Tunasikia bwana mmoja wetu, Daughter of the Soil, Jane Wangare Muta Mathai. Nomination ya Nobel Peace Prize amepata. Fumba macho kufumbua. Ameshinda 2004 Nobel Peace Prize winner. First from this country maze. After yongo yote tulimpitisha kuanzia nyumba yake yenyewe, the husband, mpaka the state. But alikwama Mm. Resilience what I want. Nakwambia hii forest mut, hii mtaipenda whether you like it or not. Yes, akapigwa Nobel Peace Prize yake baridi and the whole world maze ilitambua one wangare madai. <sighs> Fortunately or unfortunately. Watu wazuri ni watu wanatamaniwa mpaka na Mungu. Mungu alipiga hesabu akasema akina Judas ni kushua wanakatakata miti zangu hapa. Nataka mtu akuje anichungie hawa vinyangarika sababu siwaamini niitie huyo mama in 2011 she went to be with the lord after ku battle na cancer for some time but even in her absence her presence still lingers around us sababu kila wakati uki drive pale wangare madhai road ukiangalia on your right hiyo msitu yote unaiona na unaienjoy sababu ya damu sweat and tears za one jane wangare madai tukinyima huma mama kofi tutakuwa tunakosea hiyo hiyo ah 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 hiyo tutakuwa tumekosea yes tunaona eh, kuna watu wanafuata nyayo zake salima umeniambia anaitwa nani anita soina ni soina spikes eh, eh anita soina endelea na moyo huo huo tunahitaji Libya walifanya kitu bigi sana sti through Kano Mar Gaddafi well discovered as yetu eh, ni ni noma pande ya maji 
but tukichimba chini kuna maji kibao sana inaweza to last thousands of years lakini ndio nifikishie wase kwa kila city lazima nipige pipeline ngori so alikuwa ameanza kule pipes zenye zina run the entire country Benghazi Tripoli nini pipes Jumali walichimba hiyo maji na mali city ziko ni distance big hizo pipes ni ni refu like material ilitumiwa kujenga hizo pipes inaweza zunguka world i think 12 times ni ilikuwa it was a major project lakini kumbe walami wapendagi wa Afrika wakifikiria sana wakatukulia Muammar Gaddafi tukifunga ni wapatie hiyo lazima ni wapatie lazima ya Muammar hiyo hiyo lazima ni wapatie alikuwa na dream ya the united states of africa hiyo hiyo ni what ndao patia kumbe walami wapendi hiyo yani tungekuwa tuna maongari madhai kama 15 Muammar Gaddafi kama 15 na Sankara kama 15 ai ai hi africa ai 15 15 15 au ni 45 tumebakisha kwa seven countries wangapi nani wa saba nani wa saba Abel Mutua wa saba yes yes Abel Mutua wa saba au ni 52 <laughs> oh lord ah wange wange fry ah wange fry wangeona fire wa koloni anyway wadau wacheni nifungie hapo nimefurahi sana imekuwa story hatari sana Kenyan stories zinafanyaga na bubujikwa na jeans ya yeah, itabidi tuzitafute kadhaa au sio next week nitawapigia headline hitters ya ndege fulani ilipotea huko pande ya Luanda iko wapi Luanda iko wapi Luanda iko Angola. Eh. Sibogina spice. Sa, ah, si Luanda yao. Eh, uko Angola. Mbaya inatafutwa mpaka leo. Eh, but uh, otherwise before then tuendelee kulipa matikiti pale, tuingie na kuru to fry. Tusikie stories kem kem murwa muru au sio? Na match pia zitembee men. Sasa na watambo sana wadau. It's been real. Adios muchachos. Peace. Any guy. Hey. Na mkumbuke kusubscribe wewe. Haki naona tumekaa hapo sana. Hapo kwa 240s ama ni 50s, 40s. Hai tumekaa. Bofia ni hiyo kitu. Yeah, kongeni. Tuongeze kikosi. Au sio? Na kama kawa kama dawa kama imekushika mahali na unasikia yani kuna senti zinakusumbua. Who am I to receive to refuse? Fanya kama wewe. Yeah, cheza kama wewe hapa mazee watu wafai. Wasikie sawa sawa. Tuona nini? Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah,